it's gonna be amazing. Yeah. So, um, if you know anyone who has a particular t talent or ability that I'm looking for, then just t tell them to try out. Wait, a circus? You are directing a circus. You can barely talk. <laughs> Aren't you the steel factory owner's brother? Yeah, that's me. And I'm gonna put on the best circus you'll ever see. <laughs> I, I can do this and I will. It'll be amazing. Just go work in an actual industry, like your brother. My, my brother has nothing to do with this. Oh, such a shame. He's really good at, it seems like he's good at everything. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, my brother couldn't lead a circus if he tried. Yeah. Okay. In the meantime, leave us alone. What? Hey! No! Ah! 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 He went to find people for the circus. Is he getting back? I have important news. Clyde? Are you okay? What happened? I just got chased off, that's what. No one wants to be a part of the circus. They all think it's silly or offensive. Well, you know what's offensive? Those locals, that's what. They, they wouldn't know the first thing about- Clyde, just look on the bright side. We have this wonderful land and a great tent. Literally, all we need is the performers. We also need some lions. <laughs> we don't have any lions yet. Shush, Otto. Can't you see Irina's trying to cheer me up? Yeah, Otto, don't bring us down. This is going so well. Hello? Actually, Otto's right. All we need is lions. There is a line of people right outside the tent. What? That can't be right. Maybe they reconsidered. Maybe they realized my brother isn't so perfect after all. Maybe they finally realized my true potential. Um, Clyde? Oh, yeah, oh, right, right, right. Oh, get, get them, let them in. Wait, no, Irene, come here, straight right my desk. Clyde, no, you, go get them. No, Otto! I'm a, no, I'm a terrible oh, guy. Bring one inside! All right, one at a time, people, one at a time. You can say, you can say. Hello, ma'am. Tell me your name and what your talent is. Oh, uh, my name is Ramona, and I am a magician. Well, Ramona, show us what you can do. Pick a card, any card. Now watch as I, the magnificent Ramona, using my sixth sense, find your exact card in the deck. Is this? Your car? No. Oh, right. How about this one? No, I had the ace of clubs. Huh, well, it worked earlier. Maybe if we try again. Do you have any other tricks you can do? Of course. Such as? I can, um, pull a rabbit out of my hat. Aren't there some sort of magic words that you say? Um, sure, yeah. Please come out, somebody, please! No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Never say that. Say something like abracadabra. Okay. Abracadabra! For heaven's sake! Was that planned? Um, no. <laughs> well, do you want to try to finish or just move on? No, no, I can finish. I think my rabbit is just being stubborn today. I can get it. Yeah, Otto's a pretty strong guy. Do you need any help? No, I can get it. I am a magician after all. Now, abracadabra! Dear goodness, did you glue a live rabbit to your hat? How no, you no, I- Ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave before you glue any more animals to your clothing. It's not an actual rabbit, it's just a stuffed one. I wouldn't glue a live rabbit to my hat, that's ridiculous. Thank goodness. I would never do anything to make you cry. I wasn't crying. Oh, but you can have my handkerchief to dry your tears. I don't have any tears. What? I could have sworn I tied more than three together. <laughs> Whatever. Now, for my very last trick, the grand finale, I will remove the tip of my thumb! Okay. 
I think I've seen enough. Otto, would you mind showing her out? Thank you, Miss Ramona. It was great to meet you. I'll let you know about whether or not you got in. Well, I didn't even get to finish my last trick. Ah, uh, it's quite all right. I would have, um, fainted from shock anyway. Thank you. Oh, hi. I'm Marie, and you're Clyde Evans, right? Well, it's great to meet you and all, but how much is this job going to pay? And will your brother be president of the practices? A dreamy one, that Herman is. Man, I give Marie. anything to- Yes, I am Clyde Evans, and no, my brother will not be in any of the performances. What? Then why am I even trying out for this gig? Because you have a talent that you want to share with the world? Fine, I guess. So anyway, what can you do? Oh, I can twist and stretch my body into different shapes and forms that look really weird if people haven't seen them before. It's kind of terrifying at first. Not for me, of course, for the people watching. To be honest- So you're a contortionist. What? No, I don't, I don't know anything about aquatic birds. What, why in the world would you think that? No, what? a contortionist is a person who is exceptionally flexible. Don't you sass me, Clyde Evans. I'm the one who's going to help you put a circus together. You aren't going to help me put the circus together. All you have to do is show up and put your foot behind your head or whatever. Can you just show us what you can do? Oh, oh right. I'm going to start with my prescribed stretches. They help loosen my muscles and joints so that I don't tear anything while performing. We wouldn't want that, would we? <laughs> you would lose your best act. That Marie. would be. Why do you keep interrupting me? Goodness sakes, I'm getting to it. Ma me me mo mo. Are you done? That was it? Well, I haven't done all of the possible contortions that I practiced, but I would need to stretch out a lot more if I was to do those. I've been practicing for years now. Not hiring me would be like not hiring George Washington to be your lawyer. And that would Why would I need a lawyer? And why would it be George Washington? You'll need a lawyer once I sue you for disrespecting your superior, a mega-famous contortionist. You'll be scraping for money by the time oh, that I- Of course I will. Otto, I think she's done. Can you show her out? Just remember, people don't want to see bad card tricks. They want to see me. I'll be sure to consider you. Heaven's sake, she was nuts. I guess I know who we're not hiring, huh? I didn't know one person could disagree with so many things. I mean, if you would. Are you okay? Oh yeah, don't worry about me. I promise on a tightrope, I'm a lot better. <laughs> you are a tightrope walker? You got it. Best in Louisiana and fourth best in Austria. Wow. I'm impressed. You performed in Austria? Well, I didn't exactly perform, but I did walk across a clothesline to get to a rooftop hot pot stand without falling. And only three other people made it across faster than I did. I guess, technically, only four people made it across, but the first three were faster than I was. Really, an inconvenient place for a hot pot stand, if you ask me. I see. How were you planning on auditioning for us? That is a good question. I don't have anything with me that I could use. Do you have a spare wire or rope or some? No, uh, I don't think so. Oh, shoot. Oh, here, give me your chair. Is that all you're gonna do? I guess so. It's the only way I can show my balancing skills without a rope. Well, I think I could judge you perfectly based on the fact that you're the best in Louisiana. Why, thank you. And let me tell you, it was not easy to get there. I had to practice my balancing for years before finally performing. I also had to wrestle a goat. But that's irrelevant. Uh-huh. Well, thank you for your time. I will put plenty of consideration into your audition and get back to you with rehearsal times. Have a nice day, Mr. Clyde. She seems promising, don't you? Yeah, I agree. 
I still think we should probably see what she can actually do before we decide anything for sure. Clyde's probably right. Just bring in the next one, would you, Otto? Hello, I'm Hattie. And I'm Maddie. And, and we're conjoined twins. All right, well, I think we've seen enough here. So the door is over there, and thank you very much. If we're desperate, we'll get back to you, OK, Otto? Yeah, I got it. What? No, we're actual conjoined twins. We can't even read each other's minds. It's like we're the same person or something. <laughs> <laughs> get it? Because we're the same person? Yeah, I think we got it. How do you want to try out, I guess? Wait, you're actually letting them stay their complete fakers. Uh, well, we have to give everyone a chance. We need a lot of performers, Irene. But these people aren't performers. They're just two random people wearing the same clothes. Well, it's better than nothing. Fine, but it's not like they can audition. It's just their appearance that makes them different. Just let them talk. The lady's right. We can't too much to try out. All we can really do is finish each other's... All we can really do is finish each other's... Sentences! Maddie, please don't interrupt me. Oh, wait, what? Okay, girls, I think I've seen enough. Um, thank you for coming in, and have a nice day. You have a nice day too, Mr. Evans. Thank you for your time. Are you serious? It's completely obvious that they aren't conjoined. I'm pretty sure that they aren't even twins. Really? <laughs> Irene, we need a lot of performers, and I want to make sure that everyone trying out has a chance to make an impression. Whatever you say. Can I have a lion, Clyde? Otto, we could barely afford the tent. Oh. Can I get two lions for half price? Otto! Hello, Clyde Evans? Yes. Um, I'm here for the circus audition. Am I in the right place, or...? Yes, you're correct. Uh, what's your talent? Well, I've been trained to be in the military, but that didn't work for me. So, I guess I'm here to be your strongman? Or a lion tamer if you need one. <laughs> no, we already have a lion tamer. <laughs> be quiet, Otto. Continue, Mr... Well, my name is Jeff, but I prefer to go by Jefferson. All right. Jefferson, show us what you can do. Excuse me for a moment. This one is the most impressive looking bar that I have, so it'll be the one that I use. Oh, that's amazing! Marvelous! Phenomenal! That's absolutely stunning! Thank you. And what's your name, ma'am? Oh, my name's Irene. It's a pleasure to meet you, Irene. Such a beautiful name. It suits you. <laughs> You're too kind. And where are you from, Jefferson? Well, I was born and raised on the cliffs of Maine, working with my father and sisters in the granite industry. That's when I started lifting heavy rocks for fun. Although, you really don't want me. You want my sisters. They're twice as strong as I am. No, I think I, I mean, we want you just fine. I'd say you're already part of the circus, right, Clyde? Uh, See? Wonderful. I'll personally get back to you about our rehearsal times, I promise. Unless you want to stay for the rest of the tryouts. I'm sure that's not necessary. He might bias our results, Irene. Oh, I'm sure I wouldn't bias anything. I'd love to help you with the auditions, Irene. And what's your name, sir? It doesn't matter, other than the fact that he'll be leading you out of here. Otto. It's nice to meet you, Otto. Will you be performing in the circus? I'm the lion tamer. That's amazing! Where on earth do you keep your lions? Yeah, Clyde. Where are we keeping our lions? Lions are not our first priority now, Otto. Jefferson, if you would. I'm sorry, sir, but I must demand that you get this gentleman some lions. He is a lion tamer, after all. He can't be expected to do his job without some lions. Yes. I said we'd get to lions when we need to. Otto? I'm sorry for causing your outburst, sir. This is entirely my fault. I didn't realize the difficulty of bringing up an entire circus from scratch. Of course you can't afford lions. At least, not yet. This circus will be a hit. Oh, don't you worry about it, Jefferson. Thanks for being so supportive of us. I think I, we, really appreciated your audition. And it was such an honor to meet you, Miss Irene. I do hope to see you again, whether that be during rehearsals or elsewhere. We must meet up. I agree. OK, that's enough of that. <laughs> Jeff, let's go. Well, he wasn't very nice, was he? What? He was one of the most polite people I've ever met. He even offered to 
to help with the auditions. Well, it's a good thing that we don't need help with the auditions, isn't it? You need to be more kind to such a polite person. Where are your manners? Where aren't his manners? He's ridiculous. Otto, just bring in the next person. And who are you? What? He asked who you are. Oh, I'm a juggler. But what's your name? I... I'm a juggler. But what about your name? I juggle... That's why I'm here. Well, can you just show us? Show us, please! No, I don't have fleas. But hypothetically, if I did, would that be a restriction from entering the circus? Hypothetically, of course, I don't have fleas. No! Well, maybe. But can you... Can you juggle for us? No, it's not a struggle. Believe me, I'm a professional. Been juggling since my childhood. No, can you juggle with the tennis balls? The tennis balls? Yes! Yeah, sure, I guess. Maybe if I... Can you juggle with the tennis balls? I have no idea what you're doing, and it looks very strange. Do you need any help? <laughs> no, I'd rather not throw my tennis balls. I don't want to lose them. Here, let me try. Huh? Use those tennis balls to juggle. Please, can you do that? How dare you! <laughs> what did I do? That's a good question. Was he deaf? I think he might have been deaf. He was deaf. <laughs> Why can't this just go perfectly? No, you can't have any lions! Hello, dear brother. I've heard you're putting on a circus now. Herman, get out! Wait, you are auditioning for my circus? You? Ha! I should think not. I would never stoop so low. But I guess we all can't be wealthy factory owners, can we? Do you be quiet, Herman. You couldn't be the ringleader of a circus. You couldn't do this if you tried. But why would I want to try? Believe me, I would rather fall into a pit of molten steel than direct a circus. At least people know my name. My circus crew will grow to be known across the entire country. My name will be recognized in households five states over. What's so great about being praised in households five states away when you're already scorned in households five blocks away? Just leave! You literally have no reason to be here. Actually, yes, I do. Irene, did you tell little Clyde here who you rented the land for your circus from? You bought the land from my brother? Rented. Shush, Otto! He was selling a really nice piece of land for a great price. You would have taken the deal, too. I would have never taken any sort of deal from my brother. Oh, that hurts, Clyde. You don't trust your own blood? I've never trusted you, Herman. <laughs> Auditions not going too well, are they? Tell me, brother, what are you going to do when this whole circus thing crashes and burns? You'll have no money, and don't expect anything from me. It won't crash. It's going to be perfect. However, I can't let in another trial if you're still in here. So can you leave and give me those papers back? You still haven't given me a reason for you being here. Oh, I just came to brag a bit about the fact that you're performing on my land and to check on how things are going down here at the frustration station. Things are going just fine. Thank you for visiting me and insulting me. You can leave now. But why would you want me to leave, dear brother? Herman, if you don't leave on your own, I'll make you leave. Oh, now I'm scared. Otto, escort him off the premises, please. I can go by myself, thank you very much. Otto, next! Hello there, Clyde. I heard you were searching for persons with specific talent. That's right. And what's your talent? I talk to animals. And that's your animal? Yep. This is Bartholomew. He's my best friend. Isn't he beautiful? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, is there any chance that you could use a bigger, more impressive animal in your act? Maybe? What are you saying? 
Are you saying that I can't use Bartholomew? Oh, uh, no, that's not what I'm saying at all. I was just wondering if you have the ability to speak to large animals. Is that something you could do? Um, uh, I think so. I mean, yeah, sure. Like, what kind of animal? How big would you say? Like, German Shepherd big or elephant big? Oh, I guess around bear to lion size. I'm sure I could do that. Haven't really tried, but... It's the same as working with little Bartholomew. What's that? Uh-huh. That's a real shame, isn't it? What's it saying? Bartholomew prefers it if you call him a he, not an it. Fine. What is he saying? He thinks that you don't like him and that you're doubting my ability. Well... Sorry. Barty can get a bit sassy at times. Watch your language, young man. Yikes! Barty says that you shouldn't be so rude because you're the one who asked for amazing talents in the first place. I said watch your language. Your animal isn't very kind, is he? Well, maybe he just doesn't like you in particular. Usually, he's very kind. <coughs> right. I think this audition is done. Um, we'll get back to you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Barney says it would have been better if we hadn't come at all. All right. I think I agree with Bartholomew for once. Irene, do you want to sit? You've been standing for a while now. No, I'm all right, no. Willie. Go ahead. Well, if you insist. I've been standing for a while, too, you know. Oh, be quiet. Oh. Are you okay, man? Oh, yes. I'm just feeling the aura of the room. Oh, so you're a gypsy. I prefer the title Natural Vibe and Aura Psychic, but yes, I am. Okay, and what's your name? My earthly name is Ponderosa. All right, Ponderosa. What are the vibes like in here? Let me see. Many performers have been in here before me, including an animal and a fight and you, me. What about me? You were sitting in that chair right before I came in. Wow. That's right. Everything. So, you don't only read auras, but you can tell the past? In a way. I read the aura of a place, and it shows me what's happened. Can you read auras in other people? Occasionally, a person will have a strong enough aura that I can see it. For instance, your friend back there. His is roaring like a, like, like what? Like a lion, I believe. No. <laughs> and it's gone. What did you do? Me? You made his aura disappear. Well, I think this audition is as good as done. You have been an amazing performer, and I look forward to seeing you in our circus. Now I can see your aura. That's nice, ma'am. Thank you for coming. She was starting to creep me out. I liked her. Only because she noticed that you like lions. Sir, what can you do? Um, I'm a hard worker, and I'm confident. No, what's your talent? Do I need a talent for this job? <laughs> this is a circus. Of course you need a talent. This is a circus? Yes. Oh, I thought this was a job interview for Evans Steel Mill. No, it's an audition for the Evans Circus. Oh, well, I can't really do anything circus worthy, but I need a job. So, you still want to be a part of the circus, even though you can't do anything exceptional? Don't you? Oh. <laughs> Look, I'll do anything, as long as I'm paid for it. Well, of course I'd pay you for it. I wouldn't make you work hard for nothing. All right. What would I have to do? Uh, you could be our behind-the-scenes helper? And a volunteer for the other performers' acts. <laughs> because that doesn't sound dangerous at all. I wouldn't worry too much about things being too dangerous. From the, the performers I've seen look pretty harmless. <laughs> Other than Ramona when she threw her hat at you. <laughs> and the juggler who freaked out at Irene. <laughs> <laughs> and Jefferson with his rippling muscles. Okay, that's enough of that. What do you say? Want to be part of the circus? Not really, but I need the job, so I guess so. Wonderful. Thank you for visiting. Uh-huh. What? Where are all the performers? Irene, I thought you...
you said there's a whole lot of them. Okay. There was. Is that really everyone? I guess so. Do we even have enough people? Let's see. We've got Harry, Tom Grossa, the annoying contortionist, Jefferson, the magician. Patty and Maddie, the tightrope walker, the juggler, and the animal whisperer. And me, of course. And me. And you. Now, the real question is, do we keep everybody? Personally, I'd like to get rid of Marie, the juggler, Jefferson, and Clyde. Clyde, no matter how much you dislike Jefferson, we have to keep him. He has a real talent that people will want to see. Yeah, right. All you want to see is his face. <laughs> Be quiet, Clyde. Don't insult him just because he has better manners than you. He does not! Yeah, he does. <laughs> Whatever. Do we just keep everyone then? To be completely honest, I think we have to. Yeah, but I just really don't want some of them. Have you thought out rehearsal times too? Yeah, I have those all thought out. Well, perfect. Let's get started. Clyde, do you want to tell them that they're in? I think the performers are still waiting out back. Okay. Oh, this is amazing. I'm so close to having a complete circus. Can you feel the anticipation? I can definitely feel something, but I think it's hunger. I'm ready. Let's go, guys. Put on your best smiles. So this is what a circus in the making looks like. I expect it to be more, I don't know, grand. I don't think Clyde Evans can pull off Grant. It'll probably improve from here. This can't possibly be the final product. Don't be so sure. Remember who's in charge here. They're right. Remember when Clyde tried to open a pit store? Disastrous! Maybe he'll pull through this time. You never know. Never trust Clyde Evans to make something work out. It never does. <laughs> I have better things to do than watch this mess.
recruit some more performers. That's what you said last time. And all you did was have private time with this stupid ox. He's as strong as an ox, if that's what you mean. Well, that's not what I mean. I just want you to do something worthwhile. I said I'd go recruit. I don't think I can trust you to actually do what you'll say you'll do. No, I'll actually go out and recruit performers this time. I think we could do with a few more performers, don't you? Of course I think we could do with a few more performers. But you can't go five minutes without making googly eyes at Jefferson. Do I get a say in this? No, no you don't. You've only been here for a couple weeks and you're acting like you own the place. Clyde, you can't talk either. You don't own this place. You're renting. Well, you were the one who rented the land from my brother. You're crazy. Uh, Clyde? What? I think the animal is first chicken and my seven of diamonds. Not my problem! Well, I meant it to be a lion. Yes, it's great if you like taming piles of junk with a desk stool. Honestly, I bet you would. You seem like the kind of person that plays pretend instead of living in real life. You just need Marie, to- Marie, quit being so rude. He's doing his best since we don't have an actual lion. Yeah, I'm doing my best. Maybe it would look better with something like a cape and a handlebar mustache. <gasps> What in the good earth is that? It's Otto's. I think he meant it to be a lion, but it doesn't look like it, does it? That's what I told him. It looks like junk, doesn't it? I told Grace, him that- Grace, stop it! He's doing his best without real lions. But that's no excuse for cluttering up our practice space. Someone should tell him that he needs to get rid of this, this sorry excuse for a fake lion. Absolutely extraordinary, stunning, fabulous. And completely ridiculous. Clyde says that you need to take down your pretend line and stop screwing up our practices. I need to be improving my stretches so that I can impress people with my exceptional flexibility. That way when the show comes, Marie, everyone will- Marie, quit being so harsh on Otto. He doesn't have any lines yet and he's just testing some new ideas. Yeah, but they're weird and annoying. I can't stand anything he does. Plus, he barely talks and that- I wish you would barely talk. You're the weird and annoying one. <gasps> At least I'm not faking my act. Anyone can see that you two aren't actually twins. Oh yeah, because you're so amazing and flexible. Sure. Yeah, I'm a lot better than I How about we all just focus on our own acts? That way Marie can get better at her stretches, and this tightrope here can practice her balance, and Hattie and Maddie can practice saying creepy things at the same time or something. Sound good? That sounds wonderful, Marie. <laughs> Sorry, Otto, we didn't mean to cause any disagreement. We just wanted to make sure Marie didn't make fun of you. Oh, thanks. It's okay. I just don't want anyone's feelings to be hurt, and I really don't want this to fall apart for Clyde. No one wants that. How can we help? Um, maybe just make sure that no one gets too aggressive with each other. I know we only have one tent, but maybe I could assign certain acts to certain places in our space. Maybe. Nah, I don't know. No, that's a great idea. That's really smart. Uh, Thanks, but I should go see if Clyde needs my help with anything. He seems a little stressed. Bye, Otto. Thank you. We'll get everything figured out, I promise. When? I've been waiting for you to figure everything out since I got here this morning. This is harder than you think, Marie. We don't have a ton of space. Yeah, no kidding. You can barely fill the needs of one professional contortionist, much less a dozen side acts. I knew that joining this circus Marie! Would be I'm going to need you to be quiet. Get you your space as soon as I find Otto. Otto! Yes? I need to clear my head for a minute. Can you take a, a quick attendance to make sure everyone is here? Sure. All right, listen up, everybody. I need to make sure we're all here. A magician. Yes? Tightrope walker. I'm here. <laughs> Animal whisperer. And Bartholomew. Don't forget him. Contortionist. I prefer Marie, but what do you want? 
Juggler. He's here. Twins? Here. Strong man. Strong man. Strong man! Here. Gypsy, I mean, natural vibe and aura psychic? I'm also here, little lion man. Is that everyone? I'm here too. Oh, sorry, Harry. I'll add you to the list. No, it's okay. I'm not super important, anyways. Don't say that, Harry. Of course you're important. What do you mean important? I barely do anything. I can fix that. Wait, no. I wasn't complaining. Really, I'm fine. Everybody, begin practicing. Harry, you follow me. <sighs> All right, everybody. I've got over here in this corner, and I'll take that corner over there. No, 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 no. Ramona, out of the way. I want to be as far away from that crazy animal chick as possible. Uh, no way, Pretzel. I'm not moving. I've already claimed this spot. Oh, yeah? That's not fair, Marie! Sure, it's fair. You moved Marie. Give her her quarterback. She was there first. Ramona's right. You're not being very fair. Of course I'm being fair. I'm being more fair than you guys are. Everyone, please stop arguing. It's making my head hurt with all the bad vibes. Nobody cares about your slides, lady. She didn't say slides. She said vibes, you deaf bat. That doesn't even make sense. Bats aren't even deaf. Don't make fun of bats. They were here before we were, you know. Wait, what? Are you saying that bats are superior to us? Maddie and I don't need that our space, Ramona. You can have our space. Thanks, but no. I'd rather not give this little bow tie what she wants. She's already annoying enough. Just take our spot and stop arguing. It's getting really annoying and we don't need much space. No! Ramona, they're just trying to be nice to you. What? Since when did everybody turn against me? We're not turning against you. Oh really? Then why are you arguing with me? We're just suggesting that you choose a different spot so you and Marie quit fighting. Okay, Make it up! Well, duh, it's a circus tent, not an apartment complex. It's gonna be a little loud. It doesn't matter, Ramona. Why are you all arguing? So, we were splitting up the tent into sections, right? So we could all practice separately. And I chose that spot over there, and then Marie came over and started screeching at me, and then she kicked my hat, and then she stole, stole my spot, and then she went Marie, why did you want this spot in particular? I didn't want to be next to the animal whisperer. Her chicken smells bad, and I just really hate pets. Instead of complaining the entire time, I politely decided to move away and take this. What spot is my spot first? Guys, you're gonna have to find out some way to get along. There are going to be many more rehearsals just like this, and if you can't get along, I'll make sure that one or both of you gets fired. Ramona, I think you should work with someone. I think you and Ponderosa would get along great since you've already been working on psychic tricks together. Thank you. <laughs> Don't think you're getting this corner. Tightrope girl? Wait, what's your name? I was wondering what someone would ask. It's Charlie. Well, it's nice to meet you, Charlie. Do you think you could work well with Patty and Maddie, the conjoined twins? Oh, definitely. Great. You three will get this spot, and Marie, you can have the middle. But then I'm surrounded by people. I guess you'll have to get used to that then. <laughs> Actually, you might want to practice outside, just because you have an animal. <laughs> and I think it would be more calm outside. You can take Jefferson with you. Yes, sir. All righty. Now, where's Harry? Harry? <laughs> what? Otto, are you sure Harry actually wants to be the lion? He said fine. Not sure that he meant it. Oh. I'm sorry, Harry. You can go change. <sighs> Will I get paid for this? Yes. Then I'm being a stinking lion. <laughs> Roar! <laughs> Otto, I can see by your aura that you mean well, but I don't think that this is the way to get your lion. As long as I'm paid for it, I'll be a stinking footstool if you want me to. But you don't have to. I'm being a lion. Okay. What do I have to do? Um, just act like a lion, I guess? Uh-huh. Roar! <laughs> what is that man doing? Is he alright? 
He's pretending to be a lion. Oh, okay. Wait, what? He's pretending to be a lion? Man, what are you, deaf? Behind I can't. little shoelace girl. He has trouble hearing. It's not his fault. Yeah, but it's annoying. Excuse me, sir? That man on the ground, Harry, is pretending to be a lion because Otto is going to be a lion tamer. You see? I see. Thank you, ma'am. My name is Ponderosa. It's very nice to meet you, Mr. Juggler. It's nice to meet you, too. How am I supposed to tame a human lion? Maybe grab a stool and pretend to be fighting him? Yes! Maybe you need not talk to his physical body, but his aura. Right! <laughs> and why'd you come to You have exceptional balance, but only on a rope. You're like a cat, graceful when need be. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so embarrassing. You guys are so fake. I mean, come on, this is hilarious. I can't believe it. Right. That- Sometimes people need a little discouragement in their lives. I really just think that no one needs discouragement in their lives. All it does is make people feel bad about themselves. Murray, hun, you're polluting the room's aura with your negativity. I'm getting lightheaded. Oh dear, Ramona, would you go with Ponderosa to get some fresh air? Of course. Come with me, man. No, wait, Ponderosa. We're just going outside, okay? Can I come with? Of course. Come with us, Juggler. Thank you. Anyway, how do I make this not look ridiculous? I'm not sure there is a way. Look, I'm not saying don't try. I'm sure there's a way we can get you to be a lion tamer without actually getting any lions. I can't think of any ideas. How about you just take a break? How about we all just take a break? Yeah. Arguing with ignorant people is tiring. I could probably use the rest anyways. Do you know how many hours of sleep I got last night? Not a lot. I'll I could use a break. Up. So could I. Perfect. All right. Sounds good. I'll go let the performers outside know. Of course. Pardon me, ma'am, and other ma'am. I don't suppose either of you two have seen my dear brother Clyde recently. What's your definition of recently? And who wants to know? Number one, my definition of recently is at a recent time, and therefore not long ago. Number two, I would think it obvious that I'm Clyde's sibling since I referred to him as my dear brother, not more than ten seconds ago. Any other useless questions? Yes, are you single? Moving on. How many of you disagree with the way that Clyde's treating you? I do. Oh, you wouldn't believe how mean and rude he is. He barely gives me, like, any space to do my stretches, and I need a lot of space. They are called stretches, after all. And he barely gives me, like, any free time. Sometimes I just need to cool down, because moving like I do is hard. And he never lets me finish my sentences. He's always interrupting me, and he never interrupts anyone Anyone else? else? Anyone else who doesn't agree with the way that Clyde's treating you? best friend. Clyde's not my best friend. Jefferson is my best friend. He'd never yell at me the way that Clyde did. But you only met him a couple weeks ago. You barely know the guy. Of course I know him. We may have not known each other for very long, but we had an immediate connection. We were meant to be. Of course they were meant to be, you dirty pair of mismatched socks. Look at the two of them. They're holding hands. Can't you just sense the romance? Anyway, Are all of you really sure you could actually make a living out of this whole circus thing? 
It's completely ridiculous. I'm willing to bet half of you don't like it here, and you're just doing this for the money that you won't get paid. Gasp! Did you not know? Did Clyde not tell you? Did Clyde not tell us what? I'm getting there. Did Clyde not tell you that he spent the last of his money on this circus tent and the land to put it on? Did he, not, did he not tell you that he won't be able to pay you people until you perform? And even then, someone will actually have to come to the circus. Guys, can't you see he's lying? He's just trying to get you to leave Clyde. But why would I, why in the good world would I do such a horrible thing to my dear brother? Because he's your brother. That's why. But I love my dear brother. That's why I call him my dear brother, you see. Although judging by your position on this matter, I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't understand a word I'm saying. Are you insulting my intelligence? See? She can't even properly comprehend my, my insults. So sad. We should really find you some help, ma'am. Stop it, you meanie. How can you say all of these rude things? Oh, dear. I say all of these things using my voice, ma'ams. That is how most people speak, after all. It does seem like we have another pair of mentally troubled puppies over here. What a shame. Pop your hat, you rude beast. We just made two women cry. Oh, I would hardly consider them women. Oh dear, it seems, it seems as if we've gotten a bit off topic. Where was I? Uh, Clyde's not going to pay us? Right. Clyde can't pay you if he doesn't have any money. Why are you telling us this? I'm getting there, Dumbbell. Let me finish. <clears throat> However, I come bringing good news. My steel factory is in need of eager new workers, and the best part is, I'll actually pay you instead of blowing all my money on a circus tent. So, you're offering us new jobs? All of us? Well, aside from Miss Clumsy and... The old pair of unwashed mittens who so kindly left us a moment ago? Yes, all of you. Won't it be wonderful and... Oh dear, it seems I found my brother. It was good seeing you all. I hate it whenever Herman shows up here. He always brings everybody down. Um, don't hate me for this, but... Herman! Have you seen him? Not after you chased him away a moment ago? No. Shoot! What are you doing? You need to be practicing! We don't have a whole lot of time to practice, and everyone is sick of you two spending so much time together! Practice, practice, practice! Where were we? Right. I'm considering leaving the circus and going to the steel mill for a job. But why would you leave? You have a perfect job here. Clyde's not even gonna pay us. He's being way too harsh, too. I decided not to join the military because of all the strict rules I read. Then I saw the circus poster and thought, yes, the perfect opportunity for me to use my skills and not get pushed around. But Clyde's turning out to be the strict general I've been avoiding. But what about me? I'm at the circus. I know. Come with me. Herman offered you a job too. We could still work together and you could visit the circus. I can't just abandon Clyde like that. But look at the way he's treating you. That's only because we're close friends. I feel like close friends wouldn't yell at each other so much. Like you and I, we don't yell! I'll think about it, but don't think that means that I'm coming with you. I still don't want to leave. Thank you, Irene. I didn't want to leave you. Can we talk about something else now before Clyde overhears something? Sure. Speaking of my military background, do you like to hear about the time here? Oh no, you don't! What in this God-created world are you doing here? I thought I told you to leave. I did leave. Why would I ever disobey a direct order from my brother? I was the perfectly obedient sibling, after all. Well, if you were so obedient, why don't you leave and never come back? Was, dear brother. I was the perfectly obedient sibling. Now it's your turn. I want you to stop trying to put on the circus. And why would I ever do anything that you want me to? Because. Because? Because, despite how much I dislike you, I don't want to see you fail as badly as you are going to. I'm not going to fail. Clyde. I'm not going to fail! Stop telling yourself that! You've never succeeded at anything! All of your past projects have failed miserably, but what do you keep telling yourself? It'll be perfect, everything will go fine, and just as planned. But when has it ever gone like that? Never! You have never done anything right! Good day, brother. Clyde? 
Will we get our money back if we return the tent? What? Will we get our money back if we return the tent and the land? You're not going to return the tent, and you're definitely not giving the land back. You are putting on the circus if it's the last thing you do. But you heard, Herman. I've never done anything right. Why would this turn out good? Look, all the crazy things you've talked Irene and me into helping you with before were big and ambitious, just like this. But never in all of my years of knowing you have I seen you become so passionate about a project like you did this one. Exactly. Sure, Herman's known you since you were little, but he's never even tried to encourage you once. For all we know, he could be the one who's caused you to fail all those other times. Just for once, don't listen to anything your brother says. He's wrong. But what if he's not wrong? I mean, you saw the performers. Half of them are lying about their talents. And those that aren't, I don't know how we're going to get them to be able to perform with such a low budget. We barely have any money, and we barely have any good performers. Or any performers at all. At least you could say that you didn't give up. You'll have that victory. Who cares if I didn't give up, if another one of my plans fails? Do we care? We'll still be here. We've helped you with all of your other ambitions, and we never left you. Why would we leave now? This is really big. If I can't go through with this, we lose a lot of money. That's why we need to go through with it. Come on, let's start organizing some acts. Just don't think about what your brother might say, and listen to the people who matter more to you. Thanks, guys. It's no problem. It's our job.
It's almost a big moment. I thought it'd be more exciting back here. Frankly, I'm underwhelmed. Remember, the circus isn't gonna be behind the scenes. It's gonna be up front where everyone can see it. This isn't the circus. It might as well be. The scenery isn't gonna change the quality of a bad circus. Right. I just can't believe that Kylie's still going through with this. I'd have assumed that he quit weeks ago. Please, if you're just gonna tell me to give up, you can leave. I'm not going to. Uh, no, I just wanted to say, I really admire you for doing this. <laughs> Don't give up, you're too amazing. Please prove all the doubters wrong. I will. Thank you. No, thank you. Clyde? What, yes, Irene? Are you okay? The performance is tomorrow, less than 24 hours. I'm panicking. But we have plenty of performers, and they've been practicing their acts for weeks. But have you watched them? I don't want to sound rude, but it's pitiful. Nobody gets along, and the acts aren't remarkable in the least. I thought that everything was going great. That's what I've been telling people, because I thought it would turn out fine. But it's awful, and the performance is tomorrow. What do we do? Do we call it off? I think I could spread the word fast enough. Oh, but then Herman would never stop saying, I told you so. Maybe we should go through with it anyway. Where are all the performers? I haven't seen them in days. Marie! Ha! Now we got to corner. What in the world is going on here? Marie hit the jungle. I'll take my paycheck now, please. Okay. Thank you. I'll pay you after you return everyone's props. Fine. Here, chicken lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. You totally fell for that. Oh, Barty, are you okay? What did she do to you? Calm down, I didn't do anything. How dare you do something like that? Please, can't you take a joke? <laughs> Thank you. Yes? Just take your stupid tennis balls. Oh, these are for me? How kind of you. No, they're yours and I stole them. Really, I shouldn't take these. Rosa, can you talk to him, please? He thinks you're being kind. I would advise accepting his thanks. But I don't want to be kind. Why on earth would you not want to be kind? Guess you're only good at stealing, huh? That is absolutely untrue. I'm way better at performing than you'll ever be. You're supposed to be good at balancing, but you're clumsy. Ramona can't do one decent card trick. We have an animal whisperer who talks to a fake chicken. And don't even get me started on Hattie and Maddie. This circus is a complete waste of time, and it's going to be a failure. I know it, and you all know it, too. Guys, we need to stop fighting. Ramona, I respect that you want some peace, but Marie's going a little bit too far with her antics. This circus is turning into a jungle. You're right, and Clyde is the explorer tackling the dangers and hardships of the wild. If this is a jungle, then Marie's a snake. She sure acts like one, doesn't she? Flexible and annoying. Hey, I am way prettier than any snake. What about the rest of us, though? No one would go to performance with just Marie in it. What sort of animal would the rest of us be? We could always stick the juggler in as a bat. He's completely deaf. What? No. Bats aren't deaf. They're blind. Whatever. Same thing. <laughs> he probably uses his tennis balls as a sixth sense anyway. What's it called? Echolocation? Yeah, echolocation. And Charlie is most definitely a cat. She's got superb balance. What about us? What sort of animal has two heads, but only two arms, and four legs? You guys are like... A mighty two-headed dragon. And me? Maybe some sort of bird because of Bartholomew? Like a parrot. Because you can communicate with other species. Like a parrot talking to a person. Does this mean I don't have to do anything? Young man, you have the glorious spirit of a stag. Huh? What qualities do I share with a stag? You're majestic. Exactly. What? Majestic? 
That doesn't make any sense. Just go with it, Harry. Wait, what about me? Oh, you're a monkey because you're smart. And you're always playing tricks. All right, I'm a monkey. And me? Good question. I'd like to think of you less as an animal and more of a Mother Nature type, personally. Oh, I like that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I think I can make this work. Yes, yes, yes. How do you feel about being a great explorer, facing different animals from all over the world? Or at least across the stage. I love it. Perfect. Wait, I feel like we still need one more animal. Just, just one more. Oh, there you are. I was wondering where everyone was. Lion! What, where? Oh, that's perfect. Now all we need is scenery. I'll start looking. I'm sure there has to be a plant nursery around here somewhere. But where's the lion? Oh, but what about costumes? We're going to have to dress up like our animals, of course. Why? What animals? There's been a change in plans, buddy. How do you feel about lions? <laughs> lions? You're kidding, right? Yeah, I'm kidding. But... How can we make you look like a lion? Oh, Otto, do you still have that ridiculous lion outfit you made Harry wear that one time? Oh yeah, I wonder if it fit me. Wait, when was Harry wearing a lion outfit? Doesn't matter, we'll tell you later. Otto, you should go put that on. Okay. I guess I could just be a black cat. Does anyone have any black clothes I could use? Oh, I might have something. Awesome. Wait, what are you again? A deer? I think I might have some light brown. Oh, this is going to be good. Let's hope it is. My guess is that no one has any snake skin, huh? Yeah, didn't think so. This is going to be a flop. What am I still hey, doing Marie, here? Hey, Marie, why don't we check out the local market and see if they have any snake skin or feathers? I'm sure they'll have something, right? Come on! I don't want to. Let's check 7th Street first. I'm sure they'll have something. Oh, Wait, Hattie and Maddie. Don't you think that if we find some snakeskin, you could get some too? If you're gonna be a dragon, or two dragons? One and a half dragons? Whatever, just go with me and the animal whisperer, okay? Sounds good. Thanks, Mr. Clyde. What do you think I could do for a Mother Nature costume? I'm envisioning something very natural with palm branches and dirt. Okay, maybe something a bit more traditional. I could sew leaves and twigs onto a long dress for you. Then you would look amazing. That's a wonderful idea. Are you good at sewing? Ma'am, I'm good at everything from climbing trees to writing poetry to reciting the periodic table. She's not wrong. The only thing I can't do is cook good spaghetti. She's not wrong. Come on, Rosa, this will be fun. I can't wait to see what you look like when we finish. Of course, but... The juggler? Yes, the juggler. What about me? You're going to come with us to look for costumes. Oh, I love costumes. But why are we dressing up? Are we changing something about the circus? Yes, I believe so. We're all going to be animals on stage. You're going to be a bat. But don't bats have good hearing? I can't be a bat. Bats use echolocation to get around. They throw around vibrations in the air like you throw tennis balls. Are you sure? Will people laugh at me? They might laugh, but that's how we do this. Make people laugh. Okay, let's go look for costumes. So it's just you left then? I guess so. What are you again? What sort of animal matches the talents of a magician? I'm a monkey apparently. Not sure why. Why not a rabbit, really? Rabbits are directly associated with magicians. Well, maybe I could help you find some brown clothes or a tail or something. Is there anything else you need, really? I don't know. A banana? Oh! Oh, okay. What do I even wear to be a great explorer? I really hope this works. Plus, I'm sure we get a good laugh out of this whole thing. <laughs> you never know, it might be really good. What have we been telling you? It's just not. <laughs> it was never going to be good. Even the performers know it's terrible. You're lying. You haven't even met the performers. Yes, we did. There's that one who came and talked to us after one of the rehearsals. What was her name again? Marie. Well, this Marie doesn't know what she's talking about. I was about to say that about you. So, 
How many hours a day will I be working at the factory? Well, since you seem like a pretty capable guy, I'll promote you right away. You won't have to work very long, maybe four hours a day. And what would I be doing? Well, since you don't want to be pushed around, I'll put you in charge of some of the lower workers. And you'll get a schedule in a few days, I believe. Great. Also, why are we here? I thought you didn't want to see Clyde fail. Well, after the circus ends, some of the performers might want to quit. And that is a golden opportunity to find new workers. And besides, I might even be able to persuade Irene to come work with you. That's a good idea. Of course it's a good idea. I came up with it. Shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. L -l 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 Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to... The Evans Extravaganza. Welcome to the Evans Extravaganza. Uh, a circus performance you're just sure to remember. Oh, here. Our hero, a brave and stunningly handsome explorer, <sighs> will take on the jungle using only his wits and a flashlight his wits and a flashlight to take on some of the most peculiar animals in the world thank you it's no problem we follow the explorer as he takes on the mighty jungle and the terrors inside climb face jungles forward what's that who's there is that a a snake freeze a vicious viper has caught the sight of our explorer. Will he escape this terrible misfortune? Resume. How will I escape this terrible misfortune? A panther! Can this get any worse? Suddenly, a graceful panther catches sight of the viper, and a battle ensues. Who will win? Come on, come on, panther. Just beat her. Oh no. Looks like our hero's in trouble once again. He can't possibly take on both a snake and a panther at the same time. <laughs> Freeze! Oh, um, the ex this doesn't look like a very good situation for our explorer, does it? No, no it doesn't. I could use some help. Shush! I guess we'll have to do something about that. Resume. Phew! That was close. Good thing my sharp reflexes and massive intellect saved the day. <laughs> it sure is dangerous to be such a brave explorer like me. But do ordinary people get to see such extraordinary sights like that? <gasps> like that! A glorious stag! Dear Sam. What? Did that deer just talk? I, I mean, silence. <laughs> anyway, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to see such a beautiful creature like this. I wonder if I can get any closer. Closer? Freeze. Little does our hero know, the closer he gets to the deer, the more tense the stag becomes. Believe it or not, those antlers can be quite deadly. Resume. This is amazing! I'm so close! I wonder if I can touch him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's going too far. Freeze! Um, the explorer believes that the deer is speaking to him, when in reality, there is a creature lurking in the woods that can mimic human speech. Resume. Well, this is amazing! I've discovered a new species! I'll be famous! My name will be new in the history New species? Ha! Hey, if you're mean to me, I'll make sure to name you and your kind something ridiculous. Be warned. New species? Ha! What? Where did you come from? New species? Ha! Freeze. A parrot has emerged from the twisting branches of the forest. 
This is the mysterious creature that has been speaking to our explorer. Will he be able to survive the bird's extreme repetitiveness? We'll have to see. Resume. I bet you're a new species too, which means that I can name you. New species? Ha! Of course you're a new species. I've never heard of a bird who could speak so well before. I've never heard of an explorer who could speak so well before. Hey! Well, maybe I'm just smarter than everyone else you've met. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah? I said yeah. Oh yeah? I said, oh for heaven's sake, shoo! Go away, bird. Shoo! Leave or I'll make you leave. Shoo! Okay, you asked for it. Go! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't do that! Don't do that! Go away! Why are you even here? Go away! Just stop it! Go away! Just leave me alone! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you better run. Explorers like me don't tolerate annoying animals. I showed them, didn't I? <sighs> Freeze! A lion has caught the scent of our explorer. Will he survive, or will he turn out his cat food? Resume. <laughs> I'm cat food. <laughs> <laughs> Just move away slowly. I'm dead. <laughs> Freeze! Oh, the horror! The valiant hero has been attacked by the lion, and there is nothing the explorer can do to prevent his immediate death. Oh, the grief! Oh, the heartbreak! I'd rather not resume. Resume. <laughs> Excuse me? You... I didn't know lions could meow. Neither did I. The lion seems to be sympathizing with his prey before beasting. Oh no, he's coming for me. He's got me. I'm dying. Goodbye, world. I mean, the curious monkey explores the crime scene with horror! Quit it! I mean, the curious monkey runs away, terrified of what might happen to her. Ah! Oh no! The curious, hapless monkey has been attacked too! How many deaths will this world stand before the horrible line is satisfied? How many more? We're not dead. You just talk. <laughs> okay. Our amazing heroes pulled the Lazarus on us. He's alive! Praise the Lord, he's alive! I was never dead. You tricked me! How could you? I no. believed you were dead. No, I didn't trick you. Why would I do that? You should be sorry. Sorry? I forgive you, dear brother. I mean, explore? Goodness, all you had to do was apologize. We continue our story. Um, excuse me, Mr. Lion, but could you be so kind as to release that monkey from your bonds? <sighs> Thank you, sir. Wait a second. How could you understand what I was saying? Oh, oh, ah, ah, oh. <laughs> uh, whatever. Uh, how about you, monkey? Are you okay? Oh my goodness! The lion has wounded that poor creature! Look! He pulled its tail right off! Oh, she's not hurt for heaven's sake! Then how do you explain the organs trailing from her tail? Uh, those aren't organs! If you're so smart, tell me what they are. Uh, they're obviously uh, handkerchiefs. Just handkerchiefs, nothing horribly terrifying. Oh, how ugly! How rude! Look, now you've been her. Our hero has survived the attack, and he continues on his way through the treacherous jungle. Wow, that was crazy. I sure hope I don't meet up with anything else that wants to kill me. Or violently hug me, I guess. <laughs> While I continue on my way through this treacherous jungle. All of a sudden, darkness falls. Oh no, darkness has fallen. <laughs> he tries his flashlight. Oh, I'll try my flashlight. But it's dead! It's dead! <laughs> oh no. Who's there? Uh, I'm warning you. I, I have a, a dead flashlight. What, what's this? The, the trees are clearing up. The moon is 
It's just giving me just enough light to see. A giant bat! Our hero has come across perhaps one of his most peculiar and amazing finds. A giant bat! This must be one of my most peculiar and amazing finds. I've never seen anything quite like it. He's never seen anything quite like it. How will he deal with the bat? Will he befriend it, or will it suck his blood? Actually, there are only three species of bat that drink blood, and those wouldn't even live around here. Shush! I'm trying to make it more dramatic, and you're ruining it. Sorry, sorry. Good. Now, will this bat be one of the three species that drink blood, or will he peacefully go on his way? Hello? Bat? Ow! <laughs> it seems as if the bat is using echolocation to find our hero. Will he survive the torments of echolocation, or will he fall under a barrage of echoes? How are a bunch of echoes going to hurt me? Hey! Stop it! Can't you hear me? You already know where I am! It seems as if this particular bat is nearly deaf. He will need to keep using echolocation every few seconds to find whatever is in front of him. What? Hey! Stop it! The explorer finally realizes how much echoes can hurt a person, if thrown hard enough. I could have gone my whole life without knowing how echoes could hurt a person. Just as the explorer is about to be crippled by the painful echoes, a figure appears. Ow! See what I mean? Painful! What's going on here? Who are you? I am Mother Nature. Wildlife bows before my presence. I care for and protect all plants and animals. Well, actually, I could use some protecting just about now. I said I protected plants and animals. Are you a plant or an animal? Well, no. No, but... I'm here to protect the bat. But the bat keeps hurting me with its echolocation. Did you try talking to him? He can't hear. And even if he could, he wouldn't be able to understand what I was saying. I don't think that this man enjoys your echolocation. Maybe we should move on to a different part of the jungle, OK? OK, we'll be on our way. How did you do that? I'm Mother Nature, remember? Oh, of course. <laughs> Good riddance, Bat. What? Did, did you just talk? After that interesting encounter, our hero pushes forward. Oh, dear. He seems to be fatigued, so he lies down for a quick nap. Finally, time to sleep. But little does he know, he won't be getting very much sleep tonight. Oh, no. He's not the only one roaming this part of the forest. He shares the space with... A two-headed dragon! Okay, perhaps. There's no way he will make it out of this alive! This is completely unrealistic. I said, there's no way he will make it out of this alive! Fine. There's no way I'll make it out of this alive. Get out of our woods. We don't allow trespassers. I wasn't trespassing, I was just taking a nap. On our land. Which is trespassing. Uh, I was just about to leave. Oh yeah, because taking a three minute nap and then leaving is so sensible. No one takes three minute naps. You either don't fall asleep or you sleep for three days. I wasn't planning on falling asleep. You look pretty comfortable to me. We shall banish you with the blazing tongues of fire that come pouring forth from our throat. Okay, that's ridiculous. <laughs> our hero cowers in fear. They can't actually breathe fire. Our hero cowers in fear. I'm not cowering. I said Cow to cower in fear. <sighs> no. Cower before our wrath. wrath. I don't see any wrath. Our hero should probably run away before he gets into any more trouble with the dragons. If they were really a dragon, or er, dragons, why would they be able to talk? We're special. Don't judge us because we're special. No, I wasn't judging you. I was just asking a question. I think you should run. Fine. Oh no! Watch out! Ah, ah, help! Get this off me! Um, a dead tree has fallen on our hero. Will he survive? No, not if someone doesn't get this off of me. This is painful. Um, the dragon is disappointed that its prey is already incapacitated because it wanted an exciting hunt. Uh, it, I mean, they decide to help the explorer before devouring him. Oh no. I got it. <laughs> oh. Friendly Ox decides to help the explorer by lifting the tree off of him. The Ox 
attempts to defend him from the two-headed dragon. Uh, Moo? But it's too powerful for him. He, fle he flees in fear. No, wait! Don't leave me alone with the dragon! Uh, the explorer should probably run away. Our heroes met in this jungle. Friend and foe, will he survive this mass attack? Please, leave me alone. I'll do whatever you want. Whatever we want? Not you, whatever they want. I can tell you what they want. Well, then tell me. Tell me before I get left for the vultures. First of all, the lion wants someone to be his friend, someone who won't abandon him, and someone who will give him plenty of hugs. Why not just have him make friends with the bat over there? He could lead him around so that he doesn't fall into anything. I'm sure Mother Nature would love the extra company, too. <laughs> okay, but the Viper wants someone to talk, I mean, someone to hiss to, and someone who will talk back. These animals can't talk. Most of these animals can't talk. Just have this, the Viper talk to the parrot over there, who can repeat what she's saying and hold a sort of conversation. <laughs> You're not done yet. The deer wants someone to... The deer needs something to do. He's bored, and he needs a job. Why not have him work as a guard for the dragon? Because they don't want anybody on their land. He can keep intruders away with his antlers. <laughs> <laughs> he seems a bit harmless. I don't think he can actually keep anyone away. But then you wouldn't have to worry about his attacking you. Because he's harmless. Not a bad point. We'll take him. Come on, you little deer. The, ex the panther wants someone to fight with. But you can't find that, can you? Hmm. I didn't think so. Panther, you can attack him. Oh, the whore! Oh, Wait. the... If our little panther wants someone to fight with, why not just pair her up with the monkey? <laughs> but why would you do that? The monkey would just get horribly mangled. The panther could attack the monkey's tail. The tail would just fall off and keep getting longer. She wouldn't feel a thing. <laughs> there. I gave them what they wanted. But none of that was fun. Nothing about what you did was dramatic. I, I reunited the jungle. Fine. Our hero, the intrepid explorer, has reunited the jungle after years of unrest. His name will be praised in the forest for decades. There you go. Drama. It works. It better than works. It's wonderful. I guess you can say the jungle's very balanced right now, huh? I'm so glad that you could twin the day. Aw, oh, man, who stole my joke? You solved our problems quicker than a hare. <laughs> You're much stronger than I'll ever be, and much braver, too. I guess you're the animal whisperer now, huh? We're all so proud of you for juggling all these responsibilities. This might be a bit of a stretch, but I think the circus turned out better than I thought it would. <laughs> I predicted that this would be great before I even joined. It's all the auras. So you weren't lying when you said you were a brave explorer. <laughs> you get it? Lion? Yes, Otto, we can finally get you some lions. No, I'm okay. I think that dealing with these guys is enough lion taming for me. I'm proud of you, dear brother. You've done something really extraordinary with that brain of yours. I am not ashamed to call myself the brother of Clyde Evans. Aww. All I wanted was a job. That's it. <laughs> what? I thought I was here for a steel factory job. Don't ruin the moment, Harry. Just make a pun or something. <sighs> oh dear, it seems I've made some friends, doesn't it? I was planning on going stag. <laughs>
I've got to run. I'm done. Thank you for coming, everybody. A great job by the cast, by the crew, by the director, by the assistant director. Uh, for the cast and crew, if we could have everybody gather for a picture once we wrap up here, and then there'll be an opportunity for others to take pictures as well. Um, are you all back here? Okay. Can we open this up again? Again, great job by everybody, cast, crew, everybody. A, a special acknowledgement. Again, first time ever, uh, student written production. Great job, Lydia. <laughs> and if our director could come up toward the front, please. Um, you all know he wasn't here last night. If you weren't here last night, maybe you didn't know he wasn't here last night. The reason he wasn't here last night, because not only is he a director, he's also a father. So congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Foxen on the arrival and on a job well done with this performance. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming tonight. God bless you as you travel. And... We just have pictures to take, and we're good to go. All right, thank you. Have a great night.